Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to your HM Media TV news update. I'm host of my media TV, and the Biden's family continues discussing his possible exit plan from the 2020 race. The president's family members have discussed how he would want to end his re-election bid on his own timing and with careful calculated plan in place. So this is kind of in about face. This is a story from NBC News by Carol E. Lee, Monica Alba, Sarah Fitzpatrick, John Hay Allen, and Natasha Corrick. This is a continuing adventure in the, in the saga since Biden's flub during the presidential debate way back when. Um, it, it really is a testament to how insane Lee divided our politics have gotten. I mean, it's to be expected. You know, the right has gone, you know, to pledge week at the Reichstag and, you know, the, 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 the people who don't want to vote for him are so resolute in that that they held a president and, and, and the right is so sure that they're going to vote for him that the, the presidential uh, first presidential debate came between Joe Biden and Donald Trump before either of them were were officially chosen as the party nominees during the conventions. The conventions were largely a formality. Ultimately, Biden's flub here in, in the fact that he, he, he is, he, it's not just like, like you had people like Bernie Sanders, AOC and other squad members backing Biden because they didn't want to be perceived as like, you know, uh, rabble rousing lefties that cause party disunity, you know, that old Clinton night tagline, making it, making it so People don't want to want any politicians to make things better. They just want things. They want to just keep shit the same. Um, now you have politicians like Schiff, and you have politicians like Nancy Pelosi, and and President Barack Obama coming out and saying, "Hey, it's time to go, bro," which is the way it should be go. The overall tone of the conversations apparently has has been that any exit plan should put the party in the best position to beat former President Donald Trump. Exactly. You know, I think ultimately, you know, while two, three weeks ago, Biden's family members might have been like saying, you got this, Jill, Jill Biden is like, you got this, honey, you can do it. Don't listen to what people say. I believe in you. Like, and then she's like, now, hey, honey, it's time to go to bed and you don't need to be doing all this. Regardless um, of how it goes, the fact that more, um, establishment Democrats and more powerful Democrats of the party are routinely saying, hey, uh, you, you got to go, bro, is, uh, is, is climbing. And I, I would, and, and while people were saying that by the end of this weekend that Biden is going to get, is probably going to leave, I am, I, I'm doubtful of that. I think it'll, I think by the, by next weekend, we'll probably have a definitive answer. Um, especially with the convention coming up in August, um, I think we'll probably and and, we'll, and in the event he does end up stepping aside, we will do some. I'll do some more speculation on that side, but you know, <sighs> ultimately, uh, White House Andrew spokesperson Andrew uh, Danger Bateman Bates said uh, he denied any such extra discussions are happening among family. That's not happening. Period. He said the individuals making those claims are not speaking for the family or the team. They will be proven wrong. Keep the faith. I don't know. I don't know. It remains to be seen. I am doubtful. Uh, I, I, I think obviously like they want to kind of keep like they don't want to see that the current seven president is like thinking about this. I am hoping that Biden does end up stepping down and not taking the nomination. I think ultimately having I think I think the. He's tainted in, in ways that we that we can't get around, and unfortunately, um, you know, I think anyone younger, even Kamala Harris, who is ostensibly to the right of of Joe Biden, and will probably support policy, it will probably remove some of his, the policies that he uh, pioneered that have have been great for this country. She will probably take down because she is more amenable to corporate money given she is younger than him and still has a few more years of her career to go it really re does remain to see um this is a scary time for our country 
goddamn, let's hope that uh, Trump doesn't win. That's all I gotta say about that. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to, you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hivmedia.gg/discord. Discord links there. We'd love to have you. And given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ask, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at hivmedia.gg/10. All of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.